Morning everybody, it's a Fragrant Jock here with another honest opinion or as honest I can, I hope everybody's safe and well I know England's come out of lockdown soon um, which is a good thing, things are starting to improve and there is light at the end of the tunnel, we will get there I can assure you, it's just taking a while yeah, a lot longer than I thought Anyway, today's honest opinion is on a Rosa Salas and this is called Toxic 079 Toxic I bought this the other day after um, I seen some of the notes on it um, as I've said before Rosa Salas is one of my favourite um, houses they do a lot of inspired expressions and they also do a few original um, Vitor, who owns the company, is very, very good in customer service, very nice guy, very helpful, um, just down to earth. Um, anyway, this is a 50ml, um, which I bought, and it came in at £45. The sizes are 10ml, 30 and 50 As I say, this is an inspired expression of intoxicated by Killian, uh, which retails for about 184 for about 50 ml. Um, some, some, the only Killian really uh, uh, that I've tried and I've really liked is Black Phantom, um, which is a lovely fragrance. Um, but some of the notes in this Toxic, which is a great name, um, it's very, very addictive. This scent actually, when I first put it on. I don't know if I was too keen with it, you know, right away, but I put it in a dark cupboard and I left it for a few hours and then I sprayed it again and really, it goes on, it's really kind of bright and fizzy in your face uh, and it develops and as it develops you're getting whiffs in the air. This is this is one of these fragrances where it's it's really at its best in the air and you're getting wafts of it and other people are getting smells of it rather than a close-up smell from your nose, your cell on your skin. It really is a lovely fra fragrance and it develops. It, it starts fizzy, bright, kind of citrusy almost uh, to when, it drying, when it's drying down you get the cinnamon and you get that background of coffee and a wee bit of chocolate. It really is a lovely a lovely scent, really sophisticated and very, very addictive. It really is. You get yourself kind of, kind of hoping to smell it every now and again. It is very, very addictive uh, and totally unisex, I would say. Uh, but some of the notes are bergamot, coffee, cardamom, cinnamon, geranium, chocolate, nutmeg, patchouli, tonka bean, vanilla, and woody notes, that's just some of the notes, it's a lot more complex than probably meets the eye. Uh, Vito's done a, a really good job with this one I'll say. Um, and it is long lasting, it's very bright when it goes on and even when it dies down and you get the wafts of the chocolate and the coffee. Um, I don't know, I, I, I guess, I mean, because it, I mean the weather's really cold now. I was smelling this seven hours later. It wasn't obviously as in your face or strong, but I was getting wafts at least seven hours later. So it really is quite strong. Um, I've never tried the Intoxicated by Killing, um, but as I say, Black Phantom, and they're a really, they look as if they've got some great fragrances, but they're very, very expensive. Very expensive. Um, but it's a where, as I say, I really rate Rosa Salas and customer service and some of their fragrances are really excellent and very, very close to some of well, the expired expressions are very close, if not I almost identical to the originals. Um, you know, Bonfire, which was a take on uh, By the Fireplace. For me, I won't buy By the Fireplace again. Bonfire stronger. And just as good. Um, so it helps you that way. I, I do think there's a lot of fragrance snobs out there that think we don't need inspired expressions or some people call them clones. But 
I think we do. There's a market for this because I think a lot of people are getting ripped off with companies uh, with originals. Um, and, and they are, and I think there's a there's a place for inspired expressions. And there's no copyright on this anyway. The copyright lies on the the box, the bottle and the name. So you can't copyright ingredients because they're natural. And that's why that happens. Anyway, a wee bit of, I've told you about Rosa Salas before, as I say, top top rated company as far as I'm concerned. A wee bit of history on, just a tiny wee bit of history on, by Killian. I know it's Killian Hennessy who owns a company. He's the heir to the Hennessy uh, fortune and family heir to it. Um, and they're absolutely minted, that company. Uh, and he started his kind of fragrances uh, with the kind of philosophy uh, that a lot of them were memories of things that he had smelt in the in the past, like, you know, obviously the brandy, the Hennessy brandy in the barrels and very sweet and thing, you know, things like that. Uh, that's where he got his, his kind of inspiration for it, for a lot of the smells. But he's a very, very rich guy and some of his fragrances are very, very expensive. But as I say, so it's by Killian, it's Killian Hennessy. They own a lot of stuff. They own a lot of amalgamated by a lot of companies, a uh, big, big company. Anyway, as I say, I highly rate this, and if you're looking and or you've tried Intoxicated, uh, maybe in a sample, um, or you want to try this, you can get the 10 mLs, which uh, is, you know, very reasonably priced. I think it's £10 or something like that for 10 mLs, um, and it'll last you, you know, a good few, a week or so, until maybe you wear it a wee bit and you and you think you can see what you think of it, but I totally rate this. Uh, I think it's a well worth buy. <coughs> and as I say, I've not tried Intoxicated. I will try and get a sample of Intoxicated, and I'll maybe do a side by side comparison and see how close they are. But I'm not really worried about this. I'm not really worried about comparisons. This does it alone for me without intoxicated on a side to side it's a well worth scent presentation even better now his, his boxes with the gold and the black really like it it's better than a lot of other very expensive fragrances bottles can't complain nice enough bottles the sprayers are good um, really I haven't got no complaints about the presentation for the the money you're shelling out for it is a great deal. Anyway, just a quick honest opinion. I hope everybody's safe and well. And I'll see you soon. Bye for now.